Hey everyone, this is Sandy, and I'm doing a project I've been meaning to do, try for a long time. I've seen Natasha at Treasure Books do it, and I've seen Carol at Free Spirit Arts do it. It's make faux handmade, homemade paper, and I think it would be fun, so let's give it a try. Um, you can choose whatever paper you want, of course. Um, um, the coffee dyed paper is a real pretty background, or tea dyed, but I chose this one because... It's got purples and greens kind of swirled around very faintly in the background. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, so I'm thinking about using this for a lavender journal, a lavender the plant. So we'll see. So anyway, enough of that. Let's start. You um, get, um, they call it PVA glue. I'm just saying it's Mod Podge. Uh, it was three parts glue, one part water. I just roughly guessed it. And my brush is what I use for coffee dyeing. So my... Um, Mod Podge is a little um, tinted, a little bit <laughs> brown, but just uh, that's okay too. I um, was going to put down wax paper under this, but of course I couldn't find it, and I didn't want to wait to keep looking, so I put plastic wrap, and we'll see how well it does. I just wanted to protect my glass mat. So okay, once we get that down, then you can just sprinkle different items on top. Now she did tea. Well, I don't have any tea at hand, so I'm just going to do just a little bit of coffee, and it's fairly dry. <laughs> I didn't figure it out. I had coffee bags in my coffee maker, so I just grabbed one of those and one completely dry. So I dried it a little bit with my glue gun, I mean my glue gun, my uh, heat gun, but I figured it didn't have to be real dry because I'm putting it on wet stuff. Okay, um, then for me, what I really want is dried lavender. So I have this bag, and it's old stuff, and you can see I've still got my um, hanky in there. It's my um, sachet, so I'm just going to sprinkle that on here, and it's going to be a little bit raised, so I'll have to deal with that when I'm doing the napkin to cover this up. So, um, yeah. Definitely want that. Oh, this is going to be pretty, I think. Okay. Then she and Natasha added, and Carol, I'm not sure what you added. It's been a while since I've seen yours, so um, you can just tell me if you added something different. Um, just tell me in the, you know, the comments. I started to say description box, but I knew that wasn't right. So this is thread, just sewing thread that I had left over from a project, and I just had a little bit of light brown, I guess. I don't want a lot of this. Oops, I do. I have a lot right there because I dropped one. Grab it up. Okay. So just, it's not bad. It looks kind of cool. Just those little lines. And I cut mine up quite a bit, so it's not a big, a big long string. And I'm just letting it fall where it falls. And then I also have, and I'm sure you probably can't see that. <laughs> so tiny. I have some white here, a little piece of white. So let's just put some of that around. It'll be kind of subtle. And you know, I was thinking when I was cleaning off my desk, some of that uh, fabric that I used to cover those tags and those pages would probably be kind of neat too because it's really sheer. So I might try that on another one. And then she added tea bags. Well, I have these little pieces of uh, the mesh that's on book spines. So I thought I might cut some of that up and stick it here as well. Oh, that's folded over. So I'm just going to put a few. I don't want very many. Find some blank spots, I guess. I know. I always throw my scissors down and they land on that glass. They're loud. And I'm just wanting the edges not to be so perfect. Maybe one more. Okay. And then that's all I'm going to do. You can add just whatever you want, of course. I brought some oregano out here. No, I'll put it right there. It's a little blank. Some oregano, but I don't think I'm going to need it. I think there was enough green kind of with the um, lavender. Okay, so what you do next is you take a tissue from a back of a napkin. And Natasha recommended that you use the um, piece that's right up against the actual printed part of the napkin not the first layer of white because if you do the first layer of white it's just white but if you do the next layer it has faint images of whatever um, the napkin is and then 
so you get that faint image coming through and I picked a napkin that was purples so maybe there's a little faint purple coming through so and then now you very gently go over this and you try to get rid of the air bubbles wrinkles are fine because they make it look just more uh, homemade of course so um, and then of course if you rip it then you just take a piece of napkin and just go back over it and no one will be able to tell so um, anyway that's basically it and then you let it dry and then you cut around it and uh, you have homemade paper because it's got all the different uh, botanicals in it okay see I ripped it right there but I think I'll be fine maybe I'll come back in a minute because I'm sure I'll have more than one piece to repair because those raised botanicals that you put on it have a tendency to um, you know tear the tissue so that's what you can be careful of so I can see that background pretty good through here that green it actually I think I can see it better now than when I can't and the paper was dry so who knows so um, I think I'm fine over here where I ripped that paper but I'm going to put just a few more sprinkles. What happens if I sprinkle stuff on top? It looks it looks darker. So yeah, I wondered about that. So I'm just going to take a piece and go over where I did that. Well, and she used gloves. I couldn't find my gloves. So it's a good thing <laughs> COVID's winding down, right? Let's hope. I couldn't find my gloves. So, okay. Alright, so I'm going to shut the video off, and when this is dried, I will show you what it looks like. How's that? That way you don't have to wait on it. So anyway, thanks for watching this far, and I'll be back in half a second. Okay, I want to try another one, and I moved it a little closer. So um, I'm doing the same thing, the same Mod Podge, and... Um, this time I want to add the sheer fabric I was talking about. I'm not so fond of that um, gauzy stuff, just like I wasn't real fond of the tea bags that uh, Natasha put on. Of course, that's all to your personal preference, so um, you can add everything that you want. So, um, what did I, I added the coffee first, just a little dark colors, and then, um, I added my lavender. I can go a little heavier this time. <laughs> How's that? Okay, and uh, I have the oregano leaves, so I might as well try them since I've got it out here. It's more brownish than greenish, so it doesn't really add anything. Ooh, I can smell it. Ooh. Um, doesn't add anything different that the lavender added, so I wouldn't use that again unless I really needed that color. Okay, I was going to add these sheer pieces of this fabric. Of course, I'm not sure how big. And this stuff is so hard to cut. So I'm just going to put a few on here. spots uh, you can't see me cutting it I'm sure I'm off screen because I zoomed in so I just had these little pieces of this fabric so we're just putting them down they have a little bit of color to them a little bit of green a little bit of um, blue but I figured the blue could blend in and be almost purpley right okay oh. <coughs> excuse me that oregano was really strong Okay, now we're going to put the napkin over it, and kind of spread it down, and glue over the top. So it's just, I mean, you can do all sorts of things. You can just be busy all day making these, and um, you can just put it in your stash of ready-made pages. And of course, um, as far as I know, this can be trimmed down. I haven't done that yet, but this paper... I don't know why it wouldn't be able to be trimmed down if it's too large for whatever journal you're working on. 
And at first I thought, why is she watering down the glue? But I can kind of see now that I'm to the bottom and it's a little thicker. Um, yeah, it spreads much better if it's not so thick. And you won't be as apt to tear your napkin and I'm sure it lays down flatter. Look, I'm not going to have enough. Thing. I was going to have to mix up some more. Sorry about that. So I'm just going to, like I said, I just kind of wing it a little. Three parts glue, one part water. Oops. And stir it up. Okay, back in business. See, it spreads better, it's thinner. And I did. That's okay. We knew that was going to happen. So we just put a piece over it. I've got air bubbles that need to come out. And I'll tour that. Okay. I maybe making it more lavender down wasn't such a great idea. Uh, I'm going to stick to it myself. Ah, oh, but it's fine. It's going to definitely be bumpier than the other one. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to leave it alone. Let it dry. And the next video will be showing you both of them dried. So I will see you in just a sec. Okay, everyone, here is what it looks like when it's dried. And you just take a pair of scissors and cut off all this extra tissue paper. Sorry if I hit the camera, I'm standing up. Uh, let me try sitting down. I didn't, I dried it a little bit with the, um, the heat gum, but I don't know, it just, since I had it on that plastic, I just let it uh, dry naturally. And when it got to a point, I took it off the plastic. Cause that plastic sure was keeping it from drying out on the bottom. So anyway, uh, I guess just make it and let it dry overnight or for a couple hours. As you watch a football game and then fall asleep, that might be what happened. Okay, here it is. This is the first one I did because there's the gauze. You can see that gauze through there. Oh, I have the light coming through, don't I? I can figure out which one it is. Right there. Let me squeeze by here. Oops, there goes my clip. Try another one. Okay, maybe that'll help. Maybe. Yeah, well, not really. Okay, there's some th the threads. So I think it turned out pretty well. And you can fold it in half. And it secures that um, lavender in there. Here's the second one. And um, let's see, here's some of the fabric. There's some right there. But really, you can't tell. There's a little bit. If I didn't know that was fabric, I probably wouldn't tell because it really blends into that background. So, okay, I'll have to fold it. I did two on coffee dye paper, and here's the comparison. I guess you can see these side by side. I really think I like the coffee dye one better. I think it shows up better, the lavender. It just really blends in more on this background, so... And then I put the fabric on this one too, so you can see it a little bit. And then here's one. I think I did the same fabric. One of these I remembered to put threads on, and one I didn't, I think. You really can't see the threads. I used white thread. You really can't see it. So anyway, I think these turned out really well. So you might give it a try, and it feels great. You know, it feels like the leathery paper, so... I mean, you can still write on the back. That's what's great. So if you put it in your journal as a page. I took my leftover uh, Mod Podge and some grabbed some um, pockets I had in my stash, some bases, and just added leftover um, napkin. Well, I had the napkin because I pulled the backings off, but um, I was using leftover Mod Podge. So I just added like that dragonfly there. And this didn't work out so well. I had a flower here, but you can hardly see it over that. This is wallpaper and washi tape. So 
I tried to kind of work with that. And then just a journaling card. Not It's not finished, of course, but I put the whole napkin on that. This is an envelope and put some there. And then the, there's a dragonfly on that. Maybe you can see it. And then this one folds out. You have writing space. So I have a napkin on that. So anyway, I think it was fun. I would uh, will try some more, but I think I definitely like the uh, copy dye paper better. So of course, it just depends on what you need it for. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.